Don Omar, los bandoleros Aunque digan que soy Un bandolero donde voy Le doy gracias a Dios Yo, what up YouTube? This is your boy Enrique AK Look at these comments coming at you with a CBCS slab video haul That's right guys Got a slab video haul I want to show you guys But real quick before I get started I just want to Thank everyone for joining us last night for episode 48 of Chilling with the NY Warriors. We had special guests, you know, uh, Steve Barak, president and senior grader of CBCS. It was a great show. Everyone in the chat, thank you so much. I want to just give a special shout out to a few individuals that actually helped promote the show as well, posted it on their social media sites. I want to give a shout out to Undisputed Frost. Thank you for posting it on your IG page and getting the word out. Shout out to the Doom 143. Thank you for posting it also on your page and spreading the word. And also thank you to Tim, Lord of the Longbox, and Dark Side Jedi for posting it on their sites and spreading the word out as well. Because of it, it was a successful show. And um, without everyone's support, you know, and why would it be nobody? You know what I mean? Thank you guys for showing the support and sticking with us. It's been almost two years already since the show, you know. And um, July will be two years that we do the show nonstop, steady. So that's just. That's an accomplishment I think I'm proud of, and I think the rest of the guys are proud of also. But um, remember, guys, check out that video, yesterday's video. That way you can have a chance to get into the drawing to win uh, two free uh, modern tier gradings sponsored by CBCS. And the return shipping will be, that'll be our cost, and my warriors will take that cost. So it's a joint sponsorship, joint uh prize to give for our subscribers all the rules are on that video and that description but i'll leave a description to the link of everyone that i mentioned in this video below all right guys so let me just show you guys real quick the slabs we got um i have actually quite a few videos to make um you know i have uh books <laughs> i got stacks of books that i haven't showed you guys i got action figures and you know, the reason i haven't done nothing is because if you see i have a new location um we made a little makeshift man cave it's like a little man cave out you know in my apartment a couple of the older kids have moved down we had a little extra space and my wife was like you know what put all your shit in there and then you could do all your shit in that room you know so um uh, it's, you know, it's been a work in progress been the last couple of days i've uh, been busy i just haven't been able to uh you know catch up on the videos but um after today i should catch up so let me show you guys what i got part of our ace con order and your comic con order came already so i just want to show you a few slabs real quick that i just got this is uh, Mr. Miracle number one. And this was signed at New York Comic Con by Tom King. Right there, came back a 9.8. This book right now is a hot book right now. This is the variant um, cover for that Mr. Miracle story. And if you guys have not read this story, it's a very good story. Very um, mature story, very independent style story, and it's awesome. So I don't mind slabbing this one because you know what? I have the uh, uh, the A cover, and that if I ever want to reread it, I have that issue to reread. All right, and Tom King signed it real nice right there, you know. Sorry for the glare, guys. I'm not used to doing the, I usually do the first person shooters, but I said, you know what? I got the new background. Let me just do it this way, see how it goes. All right. Next we got, this was a gift from Carlos. You know, uh, Car I got hooked up last year with tickets for New York Comic Con, but I couldn't go because of work and family stuff. So I hooked up my boy Carlos with the tickets. And because of that, John Byrne was actually doing a special signing there. And um, you had to buy one book that was specific to that con, and then you could bring one to, for him to sign. So, of course, you know, Carlos brought the one for him that he wanted to sign for himself. And then he gave me the book that you had to buy, which was signed by John Byrne. All I really wanted was the signature because John Byrne is very rare sig. You know, the book, I could care less about the book. But this is um, Star Trek number 18, New Visions. It's a um, New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, and uh, as you see right there, photography. It says here, photo play by John Byrne. And then he signed it right there. But you know what? This guy, man, he's such a freaking uh, ass hat. He would not sign in any other color. Like, you know, a nice silver or gold, but it came out really nice. You can see because it's a dark cover. But he just signed everything in black. And he did some scribble scribble there. You can't even tell us his name. You know, I heard so many stories about that day. How, you know, how not a nice person that dude was, you know. Uh, but anyway, I got his sake. I'm happy with it. And um, shout out to Carlos189. Thank you for the hookup, man. Next, um, these next few slabs are from Ace Comic Con. Ace Con in December, Manny was working the booth at CBCS there, so I sent him some books so, so that um, I can get signed there from some artists that I wanted. So he took this one for me. This is the Batman Who Laughs. You guys know who it is. Uh, number one, this is the origin 
uh, Batman Who Laughs, and it's signed by the cover artist Jason Fabok right there. Came back a 9.8, and we're happy with that. Sorry with the glare, guys. Again, I'm not used to um, this type of style video. I usually do first-person shooters where the books look more clear. I think I'm going to go to that format back after this. And I just want to try this out. Well, this one. You guys tell me. Y'all want this type of video? Y'all want to see my ugly mug? Or y'all want the other, the first-person shooter when I show the books? Um, just let me know. Then I got this one here. This one is a little disappointing. This is Batman Red Death. First appearance of Red Death and the Origin. Uh, came back in 9.6. I was sure it was a 9.8. But um, somehow, somewhere, there's some defect that it says there, which I still can't see, you know. But um, it came back at 9.6. Who cares? Whatever. It's staying in the collection. Um, I'm okay with it. Okay, these next two books are books from my childhood. I got these books back in the day, um, you know, off the rack. And then uh, I gave them some era to press them out because they were red and everything. Uh, but for the most part, I, kept, I keep all my books in pretty decent condition, and I keep them in pretty decent um, temperatures, and, uh, you know, I look after my books. You know, I'm not like the perfect, Mr. Perfect with them, but I've kept them pretty much. Mostly all my books that have been grading um, that I've bought when I was a teenager, and I'm 38 years old, um, they've all been coming back white pages, which is good. That, that goes to show you how I care for my books. So this is um, not a key, but I was it was one of my favorite storylines growing up and one of my favorite artists, which was Dan Jurgens and Brett Breeding. This is uh, Superman number 79. As you can see, they signed it really, really nice. You know, these guys, you know, we have, win Manny had window bagged them for me, but these guys are so meticulous. They know where to sign each and every one of their books, and they ask you politely to take them out the window bag so they can sign it because they know how to sign. They know where to sign each book at, and they sign in specific, uh, specific spots. Like, for example, you see Bre uh, Brett Breeding signed, you know, right here, really nice. And then Dan Jurgens signed his right there. And it came back on 9.6 white pages, so Erod... And this is a new stand also, which is CBCS notes on the, um, they know on the slabs now if it's a new stand edition. If it's actually valid new stand edition, they note it now. So um, shout out to ERA212 for the awesome pressing guys. Contact him if you guys are, you know, he does from anywhere. You could be in California, you could be anywhere. But if, especially if you're in the East Coast, you should be, you know, really contacting him. All right, next book is another book, same thing from my childhood. Um, I gave it to Erod to 12. He pressed it out for me, hooked it up, and um, I got it signed out of key, but it's important to me because it's basically my pedigree. Like the man he was trying to joke yesterday, um, this is my pedigree because it's my collection. I bought it off the rack, and it's my original still here. So this is um, Superman number 81, and this one came back in 9.6 also, white pages. So I'm real happy with that right there. As you guys can see in silver, Dan Jurgens and Brett Breeding. Um, they signed it really nice, real meticulous where they, where they signed it at. They also made, you know, this was window bagged also, and they took it out because they want to sign it a specific, you know, way. All right. So this is a quick video lasting. This is the last but not least. This next book I purchased from Tim, Lords of the Long Box. I purchased it from him raw, and um, he was thinking it was a, a 9.0. 9.2 after pressing, you know, I wasn't too sure about it, but um, I sent it anyway to e to 12, he pressed it out, he didn't press it like, full. I mean, well, he did press it fully, but he did a really nice job on it, because, you know, these Kirby books are like, really gotta be very delicate with them, so um, this is the Demon number one, first appearance of the Demon, this is the first issue that, that Jack Kirby came into DC, and it came back, um, I'm still happy with it. I'm still happy with the condition that I got it from Tim. Um, this is, it came back at 8.5 white pages. So that goes to show you it was a really good condition book. And for the year, this book, um, this is awesome. It's from, uh, 1972. So came back really nice, really happy with it. And, um, yeah, that's it right there. Dope. <laughs> All right. So, you know, so basically that's it, guys. Um, just want to, you know, highlight a couple right there again. Boom. You know, so let me know in the comments if you guys would rather have the videos like this or first person shooter. I'm not sure, you know, I'm kind of used to doing it the other way around. But, um, you guys see me all the time on the auctions and on the Warrior show. So it's not like, a, you know, I like to switch it up. I like to do both. So always you know, keep something different. And, um, again, remember to check out that video from last night if you haven't. So you can have a chance to win. You get two free modern tier slabbing. So that, that's cool. Especially for someone that's never slabbed before. it will be a great way to introduce you into that part of the hobby, you know. All right. So that's it, guys. Until next time. Peace.